artworks over to New York. I have someone over there that is putting some of my artworks into a few shows over there, which is really exciting. So I'm just packing these ones up ready to go and um, it's always a bit nerve-wracking when it's going so far. I will roll them and put them in this tube. So it's like, yeah, they're nice and safe and um, yeah. Yeah, she's stoked to be part of it, which is so lovely. I know, I know you're like... Oh, God. After the storm, it's just an hour ago. This is an absolute storm. It was like raining sideways, and now there's this like amazing hazy diffuse light and a rainbow.
finishing this artwork, which is really exciting. I um, actually have moved on to my next collection, but I haven't really been sharing any of the progress. But yeah, I am nearly finished, so that's a good feeling. Um, I am slightly over doing fur and like big cats. I'm yeah, not overly inspired by them anymore. I think more than anything, I'm just tired. <laughs> I work a lot. Um, today's Sunday, so I'm working today as well. Worked yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm nervous for the new collection, but I think it's going to be good. I think you're going to love it. Negotiation pencil graveyard. <laughs> they are all now in artworks. How crazy is that? Um, I just thought I'd show you <laughs> what the studio is like at the end of an artwork. Everything just goes everywhere, like honestly, and I can't even explain it. I don't even want to try. In a flurry of creating the artwork and doing the final touches, everything just gets thrown around. It's just like the beginning of the artwork is always very like, you know, structured and like you know, I kind of just sit here with like a few pencils and it's like very calm and like meditative and, you know, super like just chill. And then at the end, everything is just like, uh, I cut these pieces off the artwork and I used to just throw them away, but now I cut them up and make them into like bookmarks and give them to my friends and stuff. <laughs> it's like a little original artwork for your book. I'm going to show you how bad this original one is. I can't believe I'm showing you this. It's so bad. I think I, I ended up using it as like a practice one. Yeah, so it's gotten worse since January this year just because I was like testing a whole lot of techniques and stuff with it. But um, yeah, 
So I used a Posca pen for these highlights and that was a mistake. I only erase my highlights these days, which is just heaps better, but you can tell that like I was really trying to figure out my style and my technique in this artwork. So yeah, I think I've come such a long way. I think it's so important to reflect on your old work and see where you can improve, but um, <laughs> just huge difference between these two artworks. I think I've grown so much this year, which is just so exciting to see and um, to just recognize that, you know, I'm growing and learning and stuff. They never really feel finished, obviously. I'm always like coming back to them and stuff, but the difference between the two is just huge and I'm just so proud of how far I've come. And it's actually a little bit embarrassing <laughs> showing that. I can't believe some of the things I was doing at the start of the year. So that's why I started um, making an online course to, to teach people how to go from this to this, pretty much. Um, and there's just like a few things that I did and that I came up with that made just such a huge difference. So this is my last tiger of the year. It's uh, December now, so um, yeah, I'm stoked. I'm gonna be moving on. I have been working in the background on my next collection. I just haven't really wanted to share much about that yet, but I will very soon. I still get heaps of questions on what tools and materials I use in my artworks. So if you're interested in learning about that, I have a video pinned on my YouTube channel at the very top where I go through everything I use. Um, so that is on my channel if you're interested. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video.